Hey guys, it's Aaron or Eminem46 as you know me. I'm going to bring you a review on the new Nova launch, this Nova launcher that I found on the Google Play Store. Uh, it's by an app to whatever called Tesla Coil Software. So if we go out of this, here is a stock HTC Sense running on the HTC One V, running HTC Sense 4 and Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0.3. This phone's not upgradable to the new Android Jelly Bean. Um, so let's open up the app, or launcher, sorry. Uh, okay, here it is. Let's open her up. Let's clear HTC Sense and use no launcher as default. So what you can see here is you get the Jelly Bean experience. So let's let's go to import from another launcher. HTC Sense. Start. So it's going to import all my desktop data. Um, there's your widget that I'm restoring. Okay, there we go. There's widget. Now there's no um, widget, sadly, for the uh, no widget for music that was right there. Let's go into the app launcher, and you have a basic layout of your stuff, your Android apps, like you would on Jelly Bean. I don't think this one actually turns. I think you can change that in the settings, though. So we go to Nova settings. You can go to your desktop. Cube card stack, none. Wallpaper scrolling on. Off. So it shows all of the stuff you can do in there, which is pretty complicated. You go to the dock, you can change how much the dock pages, which I only would prefer one. And if you actually compare this to. Actually, compare this to the stock Android, Android 4.3 running on the Nexus 7. You can actually see that there's lots of difference. There's lots of um, relations. You got your card stack, um, drawer here, right. as well as. Here you don't get the widgets, you have to t tap here. It all depends on what phone you have, and right here you get... Choose a widget. Would you have bookmarks? I don't know if you can see that. Let me just zoom this in a bit. Okay, bookmarks, calendar, drive, Facebook buttons, Google Keep, a lot of the basic stuff. Not too much customization there. But, uh... It's got a nice little animation that you can also change. Where you can just... So you hold down the menu key, you're gonna get you're gonna get to your little shortcuts here for system settings, manage apps, wallpaper, and Nova settings. So let's go to f look and feel. You can change the color icon theme, stock jelly bean. Animation speed and experimentation. So we can go to actually look and feel and close to app animations. System, don't override. You can use jelly bean action sandwich or slide. Oh, it's, I mean, it's a battery hog if you do it like that. And there's new apps. I want shortcuts. Uh, you get no watch of Prime. No watch of Prime is, I think, is $2 and has more uh, features to it. Here, there's the end of your dock. Here's your advanced settings. Let's go to folders. You can change the preview of everything. Just the overall speed of the scrolling just feels really nice, even on a single core processor. And you got that little blue animation there, like you'd see on stock Jelly Bean when scrolling. Oops, when scrolling to. The end of a home screen. Of course, this Nexus 7 has the quad core processor, so it looks a lot better. Um, but all in all, it's decent. Uh, I'm going to do some little bit of tests on this just to see if it, the phone can handle it as well. So, I'm going to be testing how uh, it runs with a live wallpaper. I'll be right back, guys. Just hold. Because I'm back, this launcher does not come with any. 
Fly wallpapers, but I downloaded one from Google Play, and it is right in somewhere in here. I just gotta change something very quickly. Let's go to the drawer. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. Draw app grid. Five by three, four by four. Here we go. Okay, let's go to the live wallpaper I downloaded. It's called Spectrum. Live wallpaper. ICS. Okay, set wallpaper. Apply. Okay. This is a live wallpaper that's running on Overlauncher. As you can see, the single product processor can't exactly keep up with the speed of the wallpaper. As you can see, just a bit there. It's not doing too bad. Sometimes it does use a little too much. Let's go to the task managers to see what it's using. Doesn't seem to be running. It's not using too much either. Refresh it for a minute. Okay, Nova Launcher is using 40 megabytes right now. You can see that. And Spectrum ICI yeah, doesn't need to be using anything. Nova Launcher has to run in the background. You, um, I really like the the widgets you and everything or even just scrolling through it just feels really nice you can go back to your home screen hold down this you get your again your a lot of your stuff there and the light the live wallpaper doesn't seem to be really slowing it down too much I mean just compare it to a live wallpaper on the Nexus 7 Oops. Compare it to this heavy phase beam on the Nexus 7. And, yeah. Well, the Nexus 7 does have a bigger display, uh, higher resolution. It doesn't seem to be chop being too choppy, but it looks like it has drained the battery quite a bit. It's gonna, so. You know, if you don't like wallpapers, in my opinion, they're oh, really cool, but... Well, here's the static wallpaper that you'd find... That you find right there. Oops. And I like on the... This launcher for the HTC wall, this model, it actually lets you still have these four app shortcuts where I can just go right into the music application you can still have you can still swipe away everything the notification bar hasn't changed um, but it, all in all I give it five stars uh, one problem with it it does it is a bit of a, a battery hog even without live wallpapers and overriding system animations but uh, it's decent I would recommend it for anybody who wants to customize their phone and doesn't like stock Android or have an older phone and want to make it look like the stock Android. Uh, Tesla Coil Software, thanks for making this app. Share it to you guys. I uh, hope you come up with better things in the future as well. Keep it up, you guys. Peace out.